Hello and welcome everybody! Today we are going to test this sketchbook. This is Jackson's own brand pastel sketchbook. Um, I want to test it out because I have to say when I got it I was a little bit disappointed because for pastel I was expecting more of a texture paper instead and the touch feels very very smooth and also I end up having an assorted color paper and that was my mistake I didn't realize that I was buying that one so I was very curious to know how my soft pastel will perform on tone paper and on Jackson paper because I don't have a soft pastel paper but all of you guys recommended to buy sanded paper and I just assume that this will be quite similar which is not so we're going to paint on it using my faber castell soft pastel we already used them in the past we made a video and that video will be linked down in the description this pad is six by eight inches is 165 gsm 20 sheets acid free and as I said, is assorted colors. So all I'm painting here today is a butterfly, a simple butterfly, but with quite a bit of colors uh, because I was trying to really see on a dark paper how the vibrancy or the color will actually come out. I not only try to use all of the color that I had, but I either use my fingers to blend than this blending tool. By the way, guys, I got this blending tool in a scroller box subscription. If you have any idea of how to clean it or if it's even possible to do so, let me know please it would be much appreciated uh, so yeah some area were tricky to blend with my finger because they were a, a bit tiny but i work a lot on layering color one on top of the other uh, because when i was blending them then they would lose a lot of vibrancy but let me tell you this straight away as i said uh, immediately as soon as i got i was a bit bias doing this video because the paper felt really smooth but as soon as i start to place the colors on top of the paper i was so surprised to see that actually there was texture on it but i just could not feel that texture but when you place the color you see you see there is a texture so it's actually much easier to work on this paper because of that hidden texture i don't know how is that possible but i i swear as soon as i got it it just felt smooth paper and then i start to work on it you guys can see and you will be able to see the texture the more i work on it it really comes out of the texture so it makes it much more interesting to work on this paper so the challenge from now was actually the vibrancy of the color i was really struggling with this dark background probably because my uh, first layer was also a light blue which was quite similar with the dark blue background. So maybe that really made me struggle with this artwork, I'm not sure. And also I was trying to blend it to make a nice uh, and smooth gradient, but this was just taking the, um, the pigment out of the paper. So, uh, there was another thing I wasn't really really happy about it so despite me realized that I like the paper I wasn't super excited to like a color paper a tone of paper uh, so will I buy this again 
I, I don't know i do like the paper so most likely yes i do want to try sanded paper so that is my in my to buy list that yeah will happen when i decided to do another haul but because of the colors, the assorted color paper, um, I've bit, been struggling with it. So I actually tell you immediately, guys, I wasn't super, super happy with how this painting came out. So I made another one. So it's just on the back of this one. Stay tuned until the end because I will show you this one and I want to know from you guys which one do you prefer. On the second one I really work on bringing the color to life despite also having a dark color and I think smoothen out the background that really happen, help even if just for a little bit. All right, guys, so this is the one that we did today, but I was a bit disappointed about the intensity of the color. I don't think they are vibrant enough, and I think just because I blended maybe a bit too much. So I decided to try again, and I made it another uh, painting. I still have to spray the fixative, so I'll hold it <laughs> very uh, loosely but I am so much happier about this one I really like it I like I like the whimsical background I like the color how they came out on the paper I'm going to spray now but I just wanted to tell you I did film also um, this video while I was painting this one so if you guys are interested in seeing the process uh, let me know in the comment and maybe I can just post it like a speed painting or something like this. Um, yeah, one of the next coming days. So if you're interested to see the process of this one, that I'm really, really happy about it. I do have the video, so just let me know. So these are these two paintings that I did today. And I think the more I practice with the soap pastel, the better I get. Uh, I think if the background was much lighter, probably this will pop better. Uh, but yeah, this is what it is. Let me know which painting you uh, prefer down in the comment. And I'll see you next week. If you haven't subscribed yet already, make sure to do that. And thank you for watching. Bye.